Welcome back to the YouTube channel Master Auto Information. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. Today, we are diving into one of the most significant developments in global aviation at the 2025 COMAC C919. This Chinese-made passenger aircraft is turning heads and challenging some of the world's biggest names in aerospace. Let's explore what makes the 2025 C919 such a groundbreaking airplane and why the entire aviation industry is watching it closely. The Comac C919 is a narrow body, twin engine commercial jet developed by the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, better known as Comac. It's designed primarily to compete with the Airbus A320neo and the Boeing 737 Max A2 of the best-selling passenger aircraft families in the world. The C919 has been in development since 2008, but after years of design work, testing, and certification hurdles, the 2025 version is now entering full-scale commercial operations. At the heart of the C-919's mission is China's desire to break free from dependence on Western aviation giants. For decades, the global commercial aircraft market has been dominated by Boeing and Airbus. But now, with the C-919, China is stepping up to offer an alternative built on homegrown technology and rising aerospace capabilities. It's not just a plane A, it's a symbol of national pride and ambition. Let's talk about performance and design. The 2025 Comac C919 features a sleek, modern design with a maximum seating capacity of about 168 passengers in an all-economy layout or around 158 in a two-class configuration. The aircraft has a typical range of approximately 2,500 nautical miles, which means it's ideal for short to medium haul flights of the kind most frequently flown in domestic and regional travel. The C919 uses advanced materials and technologies. While it's not fully made from composite materials like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, the C919 still integrates modern aluminium alloys and composite structures to reduce weight and increase fuel efficiency. Its aerodynamic profile, including winglets and smooth fuselage contours, helps minimize drag and boost performance. Powering the C919 R2 high bypass turbofan engines. While early versions were powered by the CFM International Leap 1C engine A developed jointly by J Aviation in the US and Safran in France the 2025 model is being gradually transitioned to use a domestically developed engine called the AKCJ 1000 A. This is a huge step forward for China's aviation industry because because engine development has always been one of the most difficult parts of aircraft production. The CJ-1000A is designed and built by the Aero Engine Corporation of China and is intended to match the performance of Western engines. It has been in development for more than a decade and represents China's ambition to build a fully indigenous commercial aircraft from nose to tail. While the C919 still relies on some foreign components, the goal is full localization in future variants. In terms of passenger experience, the Comac C919 offers a modern and comfortable cabin layout. The fuselage width allows for six abreast seating A3 seats on each side of a central eyelet which is standard in the narrow body category. Overhead bins are spacious, lighting is fully LED based and the air filtration system meets high international standards for comfort and cleanliness. Noise insulation and cabin pressurization are also designed to meet the expectations of global airlines. Now, let's discuss avionics and cockpit technology. The flight deck of the C919 is equipped with advanced fly-by-wire systems, electronic flight instrument systems, EFIS and integrated displays that give pilots intuitive access to all flight information. The cockpit layout is designed with safety and efficiency in mind, drawing inspiration from both Boeing and Airbus philosophies. Comac has partnered with several international firms for avionics components. Though Chinese suppliers are expected to increase their share as technology matures, 
One of the key features of the C919 program is its focus on safety and reliability. The aircraft has undergone rigorous testing through high altitude trials, cold weather trials, and crosswind landings. Flight test programs have taken place in various environments across China and abroad. As of 2025, the C919 has successfully passed all Chinese regulatory certifications and is in the process of seeking international certification, including from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, ESA. So, who's buying the C919? The aircraft has received hundreds of orders, mostly from Chinese airlines such as China Eastern, Air China, China Southern, and Hainan Airlines. But interest is also growing from international carriers, especially in Asia and Africa, where airlines are looking for cost-effective alternatives to Western jets. The price point of the C919 is one of its biggest advantages a at around $50 to $70 million per unit, it's significantly cheaper than the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX. Of course, price is just part of the equation. China's government is strongly supporting the C919's success by encouraging domestic carriers to purchase and operate it. Leasing options and financial incentives are also being offered to help make the C919 a popular choice for emerging markets. Comac's goal is to deliver at least 150 aircraft annually within the next five years. The 2025 Comac C919 is also making a name for itself through its sustainability efforts. The aircraft is designed to be fuel efficient, reducing carbon emissions per seat mile compared to older aircraft in its category. With the increasing global focus on climate change and environmental impact, this is a crucial selling point. Comac is also exploring the integration of sustainable aviation fuels and potential hybrid electric versions in the future. Despite all its promise, the C919 faces some significant challenges. First, there's the issue of international certification. While China's aviation regulators have certified the plane, gaining full approval from agencies like the FAR in the United States is a much tougher process. Without FAR or ESA certification, the C919 won't be able to enter some of the world's biggest and most lucrative markets. Second, the global aviation industry is highly competitive. Airbus and Boeing have decades of experience, a huge service network, and strong relationships with airlines around the world. Comac will need to build customer trust, demonstrate long-term reliability, and provide top-tier after-sales service to compete on a global scale. Another challenge lies in geopolitical tensions. Because the C919 still relies on several key foreign components, such as avionics and landing gear, any disruption in trade relationships could affect production. That's why China is racing to develop domestic alternatives for every single component. The goal is to have a jet that is 100% Chinese made and the 2025 version brings the country significantly closer to that milestone. Still. The C919 represents a turning point in the aviation industry. For decades, commercial aircraft manufacturing was essentially a duopoly. But now, the rise of Comac A along with other players like Russia's United Aircraft Corporation and Brazil's Embraer is creating more competition, more options, and more innovation. This benefits not only airlines but also passengers worldwide. The 2025 Comac C919 is not just about flying passengers from one city to another. It's about national innovation, industrial growth, and global competition. It's about breaking barriers and proving that China can build a modern, safe, and efficient commercial jet that stands shoulder to shoulder with the best in the world. In the coming years, we can expect to see more C919S flying international routes, more variants being developed, and perhaps even a stretch version that can carry more passengers. Comac is also already working on a wide-body aircraft at the CR929A in partnership with Russia, which could eventually compete with long-haul jets like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. 
If you're flying in China or other parts of Asia in the next few years, there's a good chance you'll find yourself on a Comac C919, and if the aircraft performs well and continues to improve, it could soon become a regular sight at airports around the world. In summary, the 2025 Comac C919 is more than just a new plane. It's a bold statement that the commercial aviation industry is changing. Comac has taken a giant leap forward, and the world is paying attention. While there's still a long road ahead, the C919 is already proving that it has the potential to disrupt the global market and redefine the future of flight. Thank you for watching Master Auto Information. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the world of planes, trains, automobiles, and everything in between. See you in the next video.